Hi, I have a couple ideas for how you could short the market uh, to either hedge yourself or just because you want to be short uh, this next week as we uh, threaten to go lower. Let's take a look. So, you know, we're coming into this week and a lot of these um, indices are at the lows or pushing the lows. And we talked about this a little bit more, but just uh, a little bit before, but just to review, E-minis are right at the bottom of that little box. E-minis now are right around that 2600 level coming to next week and can easily break through that level. Let's see, my E-minis are not working here. Let's try this, E-S, there we go. And uh, worse than the E-minis are the, oh, that's what's happening. Worse than the E-minis are the um, NASDAQ and the Russell, which are um, really breaking down even further. Uh, they've broken out of their so-called volatility box here is the E-minis over the last couple of days, uh, and we can look at it over like a 20-day period here. And we see it at the very bottom. We don't see much because I'm in the way here, but let me move out of the way. Um, we see at the very bottom of its range, threatening to break through. It did get to 2583 uh, a few weeks ago, but threatening to break through. And when we look at the, the Dow, Dow very similar, of course, but the NASDAQ, uh, a little bit higher off the lows. I guess it's really just the Russell that's really just busted through. And um, when we see this, there's fear to the downside, definitely. Many people have a situation where their 401k or their long-term savings are long the market. So, you know, you might want to hedge that at some point. And I was just pulling up some leveraged ETFs that are short. And let's take a look at that list here. So behind me, here's some one, two, and three times short um, ETFs. And there's a whole list of them. And a lot of these are optionable, folks. So um, here's a two times short, two times sector short. Uh, so you can be pretty specific about what you're shorting, international short. Uh, here's a, a whole list of th uh, three times inverse ETF. So I was looking at the options on some of these, and I pulled up this one, TZA. Okay. Now, with options, you can get a lot of bang for the buck. We see this one here, for example. And if we look at the 180-day, we see that it's ripped to the upside, and um, it's almost pro it's approaching where it hit in February of last year. And... If we look at the options, there is some volume. Now, you want when you check this stuff out, you want to make sure there's not like zero volume because zero volume is going to be too wide. But if you look at the front week, there's decent volume in the options in this TZA one. Um, and once again, this is a three times leverage small cap ETF. Decent leverage, I mean, decent uh, volume. And so if we went out, you know, I would says, I would try to go out a little bit, maybe to Jan here. You could do something like buy the Jan 14, uh, 16 call vertical, for example. You're paying 50 cents for something that could be worth up to $2. So if stuff spikes, you will quadruple your money here. And, um, you know, it might not be bad to have that in place. Then, it, heaven forbid the market does go crashing down, you've got this little thing in place that's going to uh, quadruple your money, whatever you put into it. Um, through Jan, and um, and you can feel good if the market really starts to crash. The other good thing about this is maybe you want to, maybe you think that we are going to rally from here, and uh, you're gonna you're getting ready to put some bullish positions on. Maybe you're just about to buy some Apple or Facebook or whatever your preferred stock is to get long um, the market. Maybe you're buying Spy. Um, and but you you want something in your pocket just in case stuff falls apart. So maybe you just buy a little bit of a spread like this one, which is going to uh, hedge your downside. That's what we're looking for right now, folks, is to hedge your downside. Um,
SBB. I was looking at this one too. Let's take a look at SBB options. So this is uh, ProShare short small cap. And this one has no options, so that's not going to be good for us. SPXS, okay. Directional, uh, three times short, the S&P 500. This has got decent option volume once again. Trading 28 right now. Let's take a look at the chart. And, uh, you know, a similar chart to the other one. If we were to buy something, you know, a little bit out of the money, maybe the, uh, the Jan 31, 33 call vertical. Okay, it's a similar thing. We're paying 45 cents for something that could be worth $2 once again. And um, this is just, some, you know, some, a little something in your pocket so that you can feel confident at either holding on to some of your long positions to weather the storm or um, you did, maybe you just want to get short this market or you're looking to buy some stuff uh, in a little bit and you, you just want that protection to the downside. Uh, take a look at this SPXS call vertical. Now buying a call vertical, same thing as selling a put spread. Um, you could sell downside puts in this as well, but I kind of like this idea of paying a little, uh, you know, paying one to make four. That sounds uh, like a kind of a good ratio to me. So I kind of like buying some of these call verticals. What do you think? Uh, put your um, your own ideas in the comments if you'd like, and we can have a dialogue. Um, I think that there is money to be made in the downside in these markets, and why should everybody lose money when this stuff goes down? Why couldn't it be that you and I make money when this stuff goes down and other people are crying? That sounds like a better alternative to me. Uh, let's take a look really quick into the chat because I know I've neglected to do that a little bit. And let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm just kind of refreshing my chat here really quick. And there we go. And hi, folks, there. Um, so we um, will be back soon, but... Take a, I, I want I would really, really be psyched into the chat. Oh, there we go. Uh, it would really be great if some people could make some money to the downside here while everybody else is uh, struggling. I would think that would be awesome. So just think to the downside. Now, once again, we could rally next week. Just because we're looking at the downside doesn't mean we could that we couldn't rally. Nobody knows what's going to happen next week. Uh, least of all me. And um, so we have to prepare for anything that could happen. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.